we cannot achieve our mission alone. We actively seek collaboration with those endeavouring to think in new ways, and we will not do business with those opposing change. As we continue to grow, we have expanded our range of recommended installers to deliver solar home installations throughout the UK. Working closely with these companies allows us to deploy more solar power faster than ever before. We also continue to work with Sandtoft Roofing, Sheffield Insulation Group, Roofshop and Juice and Greenworks to encourage the uptake of solar tiles by the building trade, providing more routes for people to buy solar through a range of building merchants. Over 60 roofers have completed our dedicated roofer training and over 50 more have completed our on-roof training as part of our project's work. Well, as a company, I mean, we, we've been looking at several solar products over the last couple of years and we find that Solar Sentry is, is one of the best ones we've come across, mainly because it's so easy to, to fix, but also it's, it's easy to, to describe its benefits to uh, the general public. From a roofing point of view, it's, um, you can't get more easy than that. Yeah. Um, and and to, to train other guys up would be just so simple. We have also founded the UK PV Manufacturers Association with Sharp and Romag, the only other PV manufacturers in the UK. The main work by this group has been the 2020 vision paper, which was presented to the government outlining the potential for solar PV in the UK. We seek profits for a purpose and will deploy resources to best achieve our mission in the wider community. As well as our work with local and central government, Solar Century is actively involved in the local community, supporting the local Waterloo Carnival, running education events at environment charity Roots and Shoots, and giving talks, presentations and seminars at schools and colleges throughout the UK. The main activity in the UK community has been our work on solar for schools. We worked hard to win the government's tender to supply standardised systems to schools and colleges throughout the UK and have now delivered almost 160 systems with many more in the pipeline. Every school that receives solar under the Solar for Schools programme also receives lesson plans and teaching equipment to encourage education about global warming and renewable energy. Consistent with our vision, we allocate 5% of our profits to SolarAid, a solar charity helping to deliver solar energy to the developing world. Our first profitable year allowed SolarAid to be set up with a small infusion of funds from Solar Century, which has since leveraged over £4 million from others. We are determined to succeed. We challenge the status quo that stands between us and our dream. Our major project in 2008, driven by the passion principle, has been our collective work on the first Solar Century book. The Solar Century, the past, present and world-changing future of solar energy, showcases solar applications from the household scale through to great public architecture from giant solar power stations planned for the world's deserts to the most up-to-the-minute technologies. Achim Steiner, Executive Director of the United Nations Environment Programme, describes the magnitude of the Solar Century vision in his foreword. As the Solar Century rightly points out, we really are on the verge of a solar revolution that allied to energy efficiency and breakthroughs in other forms of renewables alongside technological improvements from battery capacity to smart grids holds the promise of delivering clean, affordable and climate-friendly electricity for billions of people. One other activity, completed by a member of the new product development team, David Edwards, involved cycling 240 miles from London to Land's End in 24 hours. It started out as a challenge that we set each other in the pub, but we decided to use it as a, as a vehicle to raise some money for SolarAid. It was an enormously challenging thing to do, certainly one of the hardest things any of us have ever done, but it was very rewarding as well. We all pulled together, got each other through the, the tough bits on some of the hills in Dartmoor and the like, and we managed to raise £7,000 for SolarAid by doing it. Our main objective is to reduce CO2 emissions from the built environment, and we will be monitoring our own CO2 output closely going forward. We have chosen to separate this into four levels in order to be able to compare ourselves with other companies and to be as transparent as possible about our reporting. Our total carbon dioxide emissions to level two were 153.8 tonnes. By way of comparison, the 8.6 megawatt peak of solar photovoltaics we sold during the same period will save 3,143 tonnes of CO2 entering the atmosphere every year for at least 25 years. The following are our targets for the next year. 
to reduce our overall carbon footprint by 10%, to reduce the energy consumption by 10%, to reduce plane mileage by 20% and car and taxi mileage by 10%, to reduce our waste by 5% and to reduce our paper usage by 5%. We asked Shane Hughes of Carbon Accounting Systems how he thought we were doing. At Carbon Accounting Systems, we see companies auditing their emissions all day long. And what we particularly like about Solar Century's approach is this audit all approach. This is because many companies like Solar Century are only directly responsible for maybe a couple of hundred tons of emissions, but they have influence over maybe 10,000 tons or tens of thousands of tons of emissions within their supply chain. And so this audit all approach means that they can take a real serious attempt at mitigating their climate changing emissions. Solar Sentry aims to be able to report on our full CO2 emissions, including those from manufacture and transportation of our products. The current approach by the majority of com companies is to look at their direct emissions within the boundaries of their operation or within their financial boundaries. And we think this is a good starting point, it's an entry level approach, but companies that are looking at their total emissions, looking at the life cycle emissions of all of their products, um, can, can have an impact over climate change by an order of magnitude. We wanted to know if our current targets go far enough. One of the things we particularly liked with Solar Century's um, approach was their 10% carbon reduction target. Um, we feel that this is aligned with the best science and we hope that other companies follow suit. At Solar Century, we all believe in our mission of creating a cleaner world and a sustainable future, but we can't achieve our mission alone. We're working hard to make the transition to renewables an easy one. If you believe in what we're doing, help us to improve by sending us your feedback and taking small actions where you can.